Can you reverse severe hypertriglyceridemia by doing the exact opposite of what the guidelines say? I'm Dr. Brett Schur, the medical director at dietdoctor.com. And this is a great question because we have proof in a peer reviewed journal that yes, you can do the exact opposite of what the guidelines say and really benefit patients. Now this can be a little confusing. I can see how all of this is very confusing for people saying, well, wait, if I hear one thing from my doctor and the guidelines, sort of the best evidence says one thing, how can the exact opposite also be beneficial? And this brings up a great question about how much faith we put in guidelines, sort of understanding how things are made behind the scenes, how much of it is evidence and how much of it is sort of conjecture and best guess. Well, this is a prime example of that. So Dr. Trocolasian, who's part of our Diet Doctor Expert uh, panel and who we had a podcast with in episode number 49, he and his colleagues published a case series of two patients who had triglycerides above 1,000, so that's severe hypertriglyceridemia, where the guidelines are clear. You need a low-fat diet. Um, less than 10% fat is recommended in that case. And they also, you know, the guidelines, to be fair, also recommends low uh, avoiding alcohol, low sugar, and refined carbohydrates, but also is very clear, less than 10% of your calories from fat, a uh, very low-fat diet to treat um, severe hypertriglyceridemia and starting drug therapy right away. But what Dr. Tro and his colleagues did in these two patients, they treated them with very low carbohydrate, ketogenic, higher fat diets, um, and intermittent fasting. So the exact opposite, higher fat, not lower fat diets. And what did they find? They normalized their, triglyc their triglycerides. I mean, they dropped precipitously on this diet with no drugs, um, no medications needed. So it shows, well, it shows a number of things. One, it shows the importance of not taking these guidelines as the end all be all, right? Because so much of these guidelines are people around a table who are deemed experts in their field giving their best estimate and or their best guess of what the right answer is. Now, it may be based on some literature, based on knowledge that they have and research, but it doesn't mean that there's actual research in this specific area proving this to be the only way. So if your doctor tells you something is guideline based, does that mean it's the only way? No, of course not. Uh, and that's why we're so thankful to have people thinking outside the box and people thinking for themselves and, and doing other interventions to help their clients and their patients. And that's what Dr. Tro showed here, the power of thinking for yourself and the power of understanding for yourself what a different approach can do. He didn't do this just sort of willy nilly with no idea if it was going to help or not. He understands the science. He understands the mechanisms of how low fat or sorry, low carb, high fat diets work. And he understands how that relates to triglycerides. So he, in a carefully monitored situation, treated his patients with a high fat, low carb diet and intermittent fasting and had profound results without the need for drugs. So I applaud Dr. Tro. Now, in fairness, it was a case report of two patients, so that doesn't mean it should be applied to everybody. And if you consider doing this, definitely do it with medical guidance. Talk to your physician about it. You need to be followed carefully. Um, but this is what we need, right? This is what we need to show, okay, these guidelines are not gospel. These guidelines are not the end-all, be-all. There are other ways to do things and maybe even better ways to do things. And that's one of the things we like to promote here at Diet Doctor. Other ways to do things than is what is commonly said and believed. Because we believe low carb is such a powerful uh, nutritional intervention uh, for so many people. But as we know, when you go to the you know standard medical care doctor, you may not get that same, uh, you may not get that same message. So that's what we're here to promote that message. And we're glad we have docs like Dr. Tro um, getting these things published in peer reviewed journals because uh, it's making waves and it, it's gonna, people are gonna take notice. All right. So um, please take a look at the at the whole article written by Anna Hecht on our uh, website, dietdoctor.com. Click the thumbs up button if this was helpful and the subscribe button down below and you'll get all our updates here on YouTube. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day.